The staggered view widget allows you to make a masonry or Pinterest style layout where the heights of the children can be different. It's like a grid view, but it doesn't enforce an aspect ratio on the children. So when you drag it in, you're gonna see these and they're just dummy images. There's nothing actually in here. So let's drag in a widget so we can kind of get an idea of what this looks like. And let's duplicate that, Command D. And again, okay, great. So let's select our stagger view and take a look at some of these properties. So the first one is cross axis count. So you can think about this as columns and we have this set to two. And so if you change that, it's just gonna change the number of columns or cross axis count there is. Now notice because we have this cross axis count, our staggered view enforces a width on the child widgets. So if we come into our container, you can see it's got a width of 100 and you might not be able to tell, but that's actually not 100. So even if we got rid of this, you're gonna see that it's still 100 pixels because the width, one of the two dimensions is going to be enforced. Now the height is not, so you can take one of these and change the height and the stagger view allows that. And notice right here, this is something that's not possible with a grid layout because a grid is enforcing both the height and the width. Okay, the next two properties we have are spacing. So the spacing in these two gutters, the horizontal and the vertical, or the cross axis and the main axis spacing. So the main axis, of course, is is vertical so that would be the spacing in here so let's just double this right here and you can see we've got that and the same thing with our cross axis spacing next up we've got our shrink wrap which will tell our stagger view widget how to size itself so if we have it turned on it's going to size itself to the children so it'll be as large as the children or if we have it turned off it'll be as large as its parent allows so here the only parent is the scaffold the root widget so it's as big as that but of course if we wrap this in a container and give it a height of say 300 pixels and put that all the way you can see that it's only as big as that and let's duplicate this one more time and so you can see by default we have it set to no scrolling and you can turn scrolling on finally notice the order that the child widgets go in they're going to be added from left to right and then top to bottom so left to right and then it'll fill in the next row so let's just make our container fill the full height and let's go to our staggered view and put a cross axis of five and you can see we're filling in from the left to the right and if we just keep duplicating we're at the end of the line and then it's going to wrap onto the next line now with a staggered view you can bind it to a back-end call or an api call so that these are dynamically rendered lastly let me show you one example of a staggered view in action here we've got a daily tracker dashboard layout and this is a great example of the staggered view where we have a bunch of different widgets that need a different amount of vertical space so the staggered view is a great use case for this and that's the staggered view in flutterflow